What's up everyone, welcome to today's video. I am so stinking excited to film this fall favorites. I have so many things. Oh heck. <laughs> so many things that I wanna show you. We we're actually going out to dinner with Austin's family and so I had to dress up to look decent and I was like, you know what? Let me kill two birds with one stone because I kind of have like the fall look going on. And I have exactly an hour to film this video because the sun is setting. So we're not gonna talk anymore. We're gonna jump right into it, but first, I know everyone's gonna ask where this sweater is from, and it is from Target. Believe it or not, it was like $12.99, super comfortable, super cute and fall-ish, and I will put all the details of the makeup and the things that I'm gonna share with you. So let's get the beauty category out of the way. I don't have a ton of beauty things, but I do have some, so I'm looking forward to... Let's just jump right into the beauty category. Beauty products that I have been absolutely loving in this fall season, although I know we are not fully into fall yet, whatever. Tula came out with their new glow and get it, but not the regular eye balm. This is the rose, glow, rose gold glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. I do have this underneath my makeup right now. Granted, I have a full face of makeup on, so keep that in mind. But I absolutely love the color of this. I don't know because my light is so bright right now if you're going to be able to tell. But let me see if I can... Oh yeah, there we go. It just kind of offers a little bit more of a warm tone, whereas like the regular blue one is obviously just a little bit more cool toned. And I have really bad bags under my eyes. And so anything that is cool toned or bluish kind of just accentuates that. When I came out with the rose one, I was so excited and I absolutely love it. Even though it just recently came out, I am obsessed. Oh, speaking of, Real quick, wanna pop this in here. This is the new Versa 2. Yes, I will be doing a review on it. I just have to have it you know, for a couple of weeks to really get the full um, experience with it. But I would say that this band, I ordered this band off Amazon. It was $9.99 and it's a thin band. I would say that's a favorite because I've had Versa's and all types of Fitbits for years and I've never had a thin band. Absolutely love this. Anyways, continuing on with the beauty favorites. I'm sure you could guess my absolute favorite concealer that I have been wearing non-stop lately is this Buildable Blur Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream Blur Effect Technology with SPF 35. That is what I have on my face right now. It seriously can build up to a full coverage. It is so nice. It doesn't cake. It doesn't like give that weird dry Sometimes CC creams, in my opinion, can get that way. I didn't watch my uh, Get Ready With Me video that I did featuring a ton of new Sephora products. I did use this in it. Oh my gosh, I'll link that video if you did not see it, but highly recommend this. Um, this not sponsored, paid for this myself. So I don't know, I just really love this and I will definitely be repurchasing this. Next up on the favorites is also another thing from that video. This is the Nudies uh, All Over Face Color it is the bronzing contour stick though. I did use this as well to contour my face and I have it on right now. I love that it comes with a little, you know, kabuki style brush to blend it in. This is in the color Bondi Bay. Absolutely love this. I think it is a great way to get that kind of deepened contour look without it being so harsh. And again, because my skin is dry sometimes with the powder contours, I just tend to look a little bit cakey. So really love this. I've been into like the cream stuff lately. I've never used those things before. So I'll keep you guys updated on any other cream products that I've been trying out lately. Next up is actually something that I have not talked about or used on my channel yet. And this is the probably gonna say this wrong, Langier, Langier, I don't know. But this is a lip sleeping mask in vanilla. Let me just tell you, I have the biggest obsession with chapsticks, lip oils, anything that hydrates the lips, I'm all for it. My best friend Erin recommended this to me and I just got it when Sephora had their sale and I'm literally like halfway done with it already. It is so, just like luscious and thick, but it's not the consistency of Vaseline. Like, I don't know why, but Vaseline dries out on me really quickly, and this does not. I put this on at night before bed, and I wake up the next day, and my lips are just like not dry, so nourished. And sometimes, honestly, like, I'll show you right now. You can put it on top of whatever you have. Currently on my lips right now, I have uh, the Thrive Cosmetics pencil, and then I also have uh, Kat Von D 
uh, matte liquid lip. I forget the color of it though. And it acts as a gloss. So highly recommend that. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but it really keeps your lips hydrated. Okay, oh, I didn't realize that three of these things that I've used uh, were actually in that other video. But this is the Farsali uh, 2K Rose Gold Mist. You can use this as a primer or as a setting spray. It smells pretty floral though, but I love the finish that this gives on my makeup. I am a dewy girl. I don't like matte, except maybe occasionally on my lips, but I just think that this is so refreshing. It keeps my makeup on. It keeps it looking dewy. I used all of these things in that uh, IGTV video that I did on my Instagram last weekend when we were at the Thomas Rhett concert. Did the full face and it stayed the entire concert. Like I came home and I was like scrubbing my face off. So highly recommend all of those makeup slash beauty products. And as always with Tula, you can use my code Mander for 20% off. That is the only affiliated link that I've shown you. Everything else is 100% purchased by me and my own opinion. The last thing I want to talk about is actually a skincare product. And as I am approaching my late twenties, I've been doing a lot of aging products lately, like anti-aging products. So this is by the brand The Ordinary, and this is oh, very bright. I'm sorry my light's so bright, but I'm filming in the evening. So this is in the brand The Ordinary, and this is definitely something I'm gonna pronounce incorrectly. Grand, Grand Active Retinoid 2% in squalene. Again, Erin coming in clutch with the recommendations. She said that I need to use a retinoid, like a direct retinoid, but with squalene, that's probably so wrong. Whatever, the additive that's in this helps make it not so harsh on your skin. So it's basically not gonna dry you out like a traditional retinoid will. And it's good for fine lines, wrinkles, anti-aging, dark spots, the whole nine. And I put this on after my Tula serums and products and before the moisturizer. So this is just a little something extra that I've been adding to my routine and I love it. I think it's been doing my skin wonders. So once I'm like maybe, maybe a third of the way through this bottle. So once I get done with it all the way, I feel like I'll be able to give you a better review, but overall, absolutely love it. Before I get into the food thing, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I have a serious frozen waffle issue right now. I have been on the hunt for the best frozen waffles of all time. Now, I was a die-hard Vans gluten-free waffle gal. The blueberry and the apple cinnamon were so good. There's a hair on my face. And they, even though they are saying they are not, it's like the Lenny's and Larry's all over again, they 100% changed their formula. I, the waffles even look completely different. They are now like, crumbly and they flake and they have this weird burnt crisp edge to them. I've tried Fresh Time and High V for both of them and both the last like four or five boxes I've purchased have been awful. So I was really disappointed and I like them because their waffles were dense. So I have been hunting for some frozen waffles lately. And so if you guys have your favorite frozen waffle brand that is decent in macros and also is a dense and not like you're eating air, Please help a girl out. I have tried the Kodiak ones. The macros are just trash and they're way too high in fat for them being like frozen waffles. Um, the off the grid ones are the only ones I haven't tried. I have Kashi in my freezer right now. I have regular Eggos. I have Nature's Path pumpkin and High V brand pumpkin. I've got six boxes of frozen waffles. It's out of control. Anyways, okay, I'm rambling on too much. We need to get into the pumpkin spice stuff. So these three are bread products. These are my favorite bread items currently and of course they're pumpkin spice so the first one is the pepperidge farm swirl <sighs> the swirl bread this is amazing for french toast i made this for austin last week so fire good for french toast the bread pieces are just so thick they crisp up really nicely and you get like a good mixture of pumpkin spice and cinnamon so fire good, you guys. If you have this in your stores, you need to get it. Next, I just got these today because they finally came to my high V store. These are the Thomas Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice English Muffins. I love these. I know some people were kind of like torn on them. They weren't 100% sure if they liked them, but girl, I love these. And this is also a favorite. I'll have to get it out of the fridge, but it is um, really, really good with the Philadelphia cream cheese, um, cinnamon brown sugar. Again, I only have a little bit because I'm not supposed to have dairy, but there are just some things in life you have to enjoy, you know? And last bread item. This was sent to me by Dave's Killer Bread, so I don't actually know if this is in the stores, but I'm sure you can order it online. Their bagel macros are awesome. Three grams of fat, 
50 carb and 11 protein. And their bagels are just so good. I love their cinnamon raisin bagels Ugh, with like a good freaking breakfast scramble. I, you, you guys know, I just love breakfast. So the pumpkin spice bagels are on my top of the bagel favorites. I love them with cream cheese. I love egg sandwiches on these. I love them just with butter. Ugh, so good. Those are probably my favorite seasonal pumpkin bread items that are out right now. Next two pumpkin spice items. This is the Silk Almond Milk Creamer. I think I mentioned this in last year's fall favorites, but it is still a favorite of mine. Every morning with my Starbucks Blonde Roast Iced Coffee, highly recommend this. And honestly, like the macros for these are just kind of the same as any other almond style creamer. I don't even think I would use the regular creamers, just like the International Delight ones and those kinds, because I just honestly don't like them. I think that all of the almond milk ones taste 10 times better than any of the other ones. So plus, you know, better macros. So of course, you know, I got the Kodiak cakes Oh, can you see Tuxie? He has a little snooters rest on the couch. You're so cute, Tuxie. Okay, Kodiak cakes, pumpkin flax energy cakes. A lot of you guys, in reference to my waffle issue, were saying to just like make these and then freeze them. And I totally agree that would be obviously the most cost efficient and just to make it myself. But I just wanted the convenience factor of the waffles, you know, like I wanted to be able to just pop them in the toaster, have them as a side with my egg scramble. You guys know I've been eating that forever. And so I just wanted the convenience factor and I really loved Vans and now are just to shit. So this is kind of a weird food favorite and I just recently discovered this and you guys will have to let me know. I don't know if Dots pretzels is a Midwestern thing or I, I just never in my life in Florida did I ever hear of Dots pretzels until I moved up here and everybody was just up in arms over Dots pretzels. So they are really good, I will tell you that. They're just, they almost kind of remind me of those uh, coated pretzels by Snyder's, the cheddar ones, but it's not a cheddar taste. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's delicious. So anyways, I went into Target the other day and this was on one of their end caps and it is a Dots home style pretzel rub, but I made my chicken thighs in these. <sighs> Let me tell you something. They have actual like chunks of pretzels. It is almost like a, I don't want to tilt it because, oh, there we go. You can kind of see. It's not very fine like a barbecue you know, seasoning would be. This is very thick and it has the chunks of pretzels in there. So I coated my chicken thighs in these, cooked them on the cast iron skillet. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I did get a little bit soggy the next day for my meal prep, which was fine because I still enjoy the taste anyway. And it actually kind of reminded me of my mom's chicken parm that she made like when I was growing up. She made these like super Italian chicken parm chicken cutlets and they were very good. And that's kind of what the consistency reminds me of. So if you can find them, highly recommend. I think a lot of you guys would enjoy them, but I'm really hoping it's not just a Midwestern thing. Next up are two freezer favorites. I used to have a slight obsession with Yasso uh, frozen yogurt Greek ice cream bars and this was like a couple years ago and then you know I had all my stomach issues and they were like you really should cut out dairy and I cut these bad boys out and like I said I will endure my own pain if I so choose to have dairy. Does it sit well with me? Not necessarily. Does it taste good and is less harmful to me than ice cream? Yes. And I don't know if you know this about me, but pecan pie is also one of my favorite five pies, along with apple pie and pumpkin pie. So these are the Yasso pecan pie frozen Greek yogurt bars, and they are delicious. Inside of the little bar, it's got little chunks of pecans. Oh, it even said, hold on. Brown butter frozen Greek yogurt bars with a cinnamon gram swirl and honey glazed pecan pieces. The Greek yogurt does not bother me as much as full fat dairy, and I'm sure a lot of you guys deal with the same things, but oh my gosh, this is so good. And the size of them is actually pretty decent. Like, you know how the Halo Top made bars like this? They are seriously like this big. These guys are a full like hand size amount, really good. So these I bought at Target and also at Target, this is like taking me back to my 16 year old self because I worked at a frozen yogurt store. That was my very first job. One of my favorite toppings for the frozen yogurt was mochi and they have like these little rice flour balls, you know, and they kind of take on the flavor of whatever you put them into. So I used to just eat them. Like I would stand there at work and just eat them. And that was where my love for mochi started. So this is one of those things. Again, this has real ice cream in it. So beware if you're not supposed to have dairy. I'm like the 
worst IBS lactose intolerant person ever. I'm like, yeah, I'm not supposed to have this, but I'm having it anyway. This is not an all the time thing. I'm just, I love pumpkin and fall flavors. And so if I can just have a little bit now and then, I'm happy. So anyways, these are the My Mochi pumpkin little ice cream bites. For one of these guys, it's 2.5 fat, 18 carb, and one protein. And oh, I just love the consistency of these. I'll show you what one of them looks like. They come in this little, almost like an egg carton type thing. They're just so good. They're like little pillows of deliciousness. They also have these in an apple pie flavor. Ugh, they're both so good, but I really like the pumpkin one just a little bit more. Also, can we please take a minute to appreciate this? Love this for me. Okay, so last thing that I kind of wanted to mention was actually not something I physically have in my hands because they're in the wash right now, but the Lululemon Align uh, leggings in the rustic orange color. I wore them in an Instagram post the other day and everyone was like, where are these leggings from? I think slightly the filter that I had on the picture and the light from the mirror kind of made them look a little bit more orangey than they actually are. They're kind of really more so that rustic burnt color. Love them. They are so, so comfortable and a really good dupe for them, I know I've mentioned this in a previous video, just like a vlog, are the Fleo Rumi. I think they're the ones that I like. So great for working out because those ones are geared actually more so for working out. Whereas like, you know, the Lululemon Alliance, you're not supposed to. So if you're looking for new workout leggings, I highly recommend Fleo. I've said this in probably a million and one favorites videos at this point. And I just love her quality. I love her, the whole brand. And I don't know, they're just very flattering and Comfortable. So keep those in mind if you're looking for some leggings for the fall season. The last thing that I just want to touch on are my extensions. I will at some point do a video on like everything I went through from the tape-ins to these ones that I currently have. But just to give you guys an update, these are the Perfectress. Um, I think they're similar to beaded rose, but not in the damaging way that the beaded rose can be. According to my hair girl, these are supposed to be the most healthy for your hair. And I will kind of lift them up so you can see. It's This light's blinding me, but I don't know if you can see this. They're so seamless into my hair. But I have two rows. One is a double density and one is a regular weft. And she basically, like the installing process is so simple. It takes her like 10 minutes to thread through my hair. She does it in a rectangular manner or pattern so it doesn't pull on my hair in an uneven way. I do notice that if I flip my hair up all the way and tie it tight, it does kind of give me a headache a little bit. Nowhere near as annoying and as painful as the tape and extensions were for me. But so far my experience with these has been amazing. Unfortunately, they are on the pricey side. This is the most I've ever spent on my hair ever and I'm, I'm like, slightly revolted in myself, but nonetheless, the quality of these is amazing. It blends so nicely into my hair. I don't know about the colors that she uses as like her own little formula and then she just kind of goes through with little baby microfoils and foils like around the halo of my head and then we tone it. So eventually I'm working on doing a video with her because I know there are a lot of girls on my channel that ask about like products and hair color and that's just way out of my forte. I know about just as much how to curl it and then I put some shine spray in it and then we're good to go. So anyways, that is all I have for you on this fall favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm sorry it was so long, but I did have a lot of things for you guys today. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss any Manders Monday and I will see you in my next video.